morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's a beautiful day today. It's, uh, right now it's 68 degrees. It's going to be 77 today. I wish I could send this nice weather to our friends that are dealing with heat. So much heat, eh? Yeah, it's hot some, in some places. Before I pour my milk in, I'm going to cut some watermelon up. And have some cereal and watermelon for breakfast. Just wash it. I always wash my watermelon. Do you guys? I don't know why. Okay, let's get a piece of watermelon. The girls will sure enjoy this today. And Jethro. Oh, oh dear. That better be good. I'm bringing it back if it's crap. I'm tired of getting crappy watermelons. That just snapped in half. Taste that. I've had enough of paying almost $5 for a watermelon and it being crap. Mm-hmm. That's good. I have a cup of that. Got some prepping in the kitchen to do today. And we'll see what else. You guys want to hang out with me? You're more than welcome to hang out. The girls are going to like this juicy one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get in the kitchen here. And I'm going to do some prepping. So I'll be back after I eat my breakfast. Going to be good. I think we should go for a ride and get some eggs today. Yeah, that might be in the plans too. Almost forgot my half a cup of cranberry juice. <laughs> Gotta drink that cranberry juice, you guys. It's good for you. Okay. There. Now we can eat. Okay, Jethro and the girls got watermelon, and I'm going to cut this up. I really need to get a nice bowl for when I cut up watermelon. Maybe I can find one on Amazon. Just That won't take up the whole fridge, but we'll keep the, wa the watermelon nice and juicy. So this is my first thing I got done today and a hundred more things to do. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll all fit in this bowl. I'll leave this stuff left for uh, the birds in the yard. I got my hummingbird feeder hung up again. Hopefully I don't attract a million ants. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> okay, watermelon's done. Okay, I'm going to do the dog's chicken now. I had to search through my drawer there. These were on the bottom. I didn't think I had any more, but I did. I had a whole pile of them. Sometimes things are shoved in drawers on top of each other and 
you can't find something that you think you don't have anymore. Okay. Now say I'm cooking I'm cooking the dog's chicken now in the oven. I just cook it plain. I'm gonna cook them too. I'm gonna save two to go in my crock pot for my chicken pot pies. I'll get I'll get your chicken in the oven, Coco. He's watching my every move right here. There he is. It's going in. Okay, I got two chicken breasts in there. And I got a bag of chicken bones. I'm going to put in there. A bag of chicken bones. And a bag of broth. Let me get that in my crock pot. And I got some sal celery leaves. And an onion to put in there too. Seriously. This year I'm going to teach myself to can chicken broth. And I'm tired of struggling to get it out of the bag. I'm tired of it in the freezer. So I gotta let this got this on high. Hopefully I can get that bag <laughs> bag off. And we can I'm gonna cut up some celery and stuff and an onion. Get it all in here. Oh I'm so tired of struggling with freezer bags. I gotta learn to can broth. I really do. I'm taking all these leaves and I'm putting that in my stock. The stock's going to go all day and later on tonight. It's going to be going for a while. Just a, a couple onions from Bruce's garden. And I, I don't know. Should I put carrots? I want to cut some carrot sticks up to have munchy on the in, in the fridge. But Let me cut all this leafy stuff off and get it in my crock pot. Okay, I got it in. I got it. I gotta get this off. It'll come off. Don't just ignore that. But it'll come off. I'll, I'll make sure of it. It'll all go down. This is homemade. This is how you do it. Except for the plastic. <laughs> okay. This here. I'm gonna keep keep this stuff here and this stuff here because Christmas in July. Well, my I'm gonna celebrate July 25th. So I'm going to be doing the chicken in the oven and stuff, like a whole Christmas dinner. So I'm going to keep this stuff and uh, use it in my, when I cook my chicken. Okay, I got the carrots and, and the celery done. Now I'm going to work on the tuna. Bruce's I'm going to work on getting you. Green onions. How many? Uh, about two. Yes, I'm sending them out to get green onions. Oh, we send them the gardener out to get... Oh, that's right. Good thing you got me. Yeah. Thank you, hon. You're I got the plastic out. See that? <laughs> they come. They come out. Okay. Now I'm working on my tuna. I got my green onions. These are big onions, so I'm going to grate them into my tuna. And then I'm cut these up. That's how I'm going to do this. <laughs> that's all done. I got to put them in a the container and put them in the fridge. So let me go grade my onions into my tuna. Okay, lunch today. Salad and rotisserie chicken. Oh, I don't have my fridge closed. And I ended up, I got my, this all packed in. I always put ice in, it keeps my veggies crisp. And in here I have my carrots. I'm gonna go sit down and eat. Put these in the fridge. And then we're going to finish um, deboning that rotisserie chicken. I forgot my cheese in my onion. Crispy onions. Mm-hmm. So much better now. Look at my broth, you guys. <laughs> Yum. That's going to be going all day long. I'm going to do butterscotch pudding. I'm going to put two tablespoons of graham cracker on the bottom and some uh, cream whipped cream on the top make a little dessert in the fridge to have on hand if I want something sweet 
Okay, so I'm measuring it in half cups. That looks like a good amount, eh? I think that will be satisfying. Okay, I have to let my whipping cream thaw out and then we'll whip that up. So right now I'm going to uh, debone the, tur the chicken. I was going to say turkey. <laughs> be honest, it's not one of my favorite most favorite things to do in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna do it. Get it done, then we'll have it for our um, chicken pot pie. You could see that someone devoured the drumsticks last night. <laughs> and I had a little bit for my salad today. Yeah, let's get this done. I have some veggie scraps to give the girls. I'll just throw it outside on the grass and they'll munch on it. Yep. Okay, <laughs> I pulled my chicken out of the crock pot, letting it cool and I'll put it with the rest of that chicken. Don't eat my chicken. And then, now I'm going to clean up the mess here. Don't eat my chicken. That's right. Don't eat it. Well, if you clean tell up me this not mess. to eat it, I will take Don't it. Don't stop. No. I will eat it. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, you guys, I'm mixing up my cool, my cream. Remember, I, it was frozen. Let's see how this turns out. I know you all had the same idea. You liked my idea because, like me, I was wasting it. By the time I got half, half the pit, half the um, carton left, it was expired. You know, good. I'm going to go whip this up and we'll see how it turns out. I'm putting two tablespoons of sugar in it. you got to put the sugar in it. For sure. It's looking good. I don't want to over, uh, over beat it. Let's see. That looks good. Let me see. here oh yeah that's good perfect that worked you guys freeze your whipping cream mm -hmm. you're darn tootin mm. there we go I have five desserts okay Bruce is gonna have Wendy's chili because he bought that yesterday. So I'm going to have tuna salad and some rice crackers and a butterscotch pudding and a Pepsi Zero. <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy my dinner and I will be back. I should have, I still should make ranch dressing. Yeah. And I just turned off my broth. I think it's done. It smells so good. Uh-huh. I don't think I'll be making pot pies tonight. I'm going to let it cool off, put it in the container, and have it for tomorrow. Okay, this looks like a good dinner to me for a summertime day. Mm -hmm. Okay, next time I'm going to do a quarter cup of whipping cream. Half a cup is too much. I can hardly taste my pudding. <laughs> yeah, and... Oh... You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. But. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. I cut Bruce's hair. <laughs> I cut it all off. Yeah. Now he just. If you trim all this up. He'd look 20 years younger. Uh huh. For sure. I'm going to do just a quarter cup of whipping cream next time. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at you three. You've been sitting around all day. Eating watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> I've been coming out and reading every chance I can. <laughs> 
Bruce pulled this out of his garage. This old table here, it's a checker table too. His, um, we got this for Christmas one year. Our brother-in-law made it for a Christmas present, I think it was. Yeah, it's nice to put my book there in a drink. So I didn't get to go get eggs, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I, I sh maybe I'll be able to go tomorrow because we don't have a lot to do in the kitchen. Yeah, we did a lot today. You're sliding down my tripod. <laughs> so I'm almost done my book. Yeah. Um, so Mora is not falling. She's liking Victor a lot. Now she just moved in with a couple girls, uh, Courtney and Annie. Um, Courtney owns the house, but Annie's living there with her daughter because her husband is a drunk and she had enough and she wanted to move out. So she's trying to start over and she's she's trying to start a catering business. So so Courtney said, why don't you move in here? Because she, she feels like the Driftwood Lodge is going to get really busy that time of year. So she says, you don't mind? She said, no. So she's put up a spot at, um, at court with Courtney and Annie and she's, um, Annie's daughter. I forget the daughter's name, but, uh, she's been loving it. But now she went up, she went out on that date with Victor, but she didn't know. Courtney said she's going to marry a guy one day. Guess who that guy is? She has the hots for him. It's Victor. Now, Mora feels like she can't, she can't, um, she can't go out with, with Victor again because she doesn't want to look like she's stealing someone's, you know, love. <laughs> so, she doesn't know what to do, so she's ignoring Victor. Victor can't understand why she's ignoring him. <laughs> and Annie, she's living with Courtney there too. And her husband's the drunk, just, just keeps going over, banging on the door, trying to get Annie to go home. And Annie's like, I'm, I can't do it anymore. No. So Annie and her daughter... I think she, I, I don't, I don't remember her name. Her daughter wants to see her father, but her father's a real drunk. Mm hmm So it's, that's where I'm at right now. Like, um, Maura just, oh, she went to his, they went for pizza and he bring her back to show her his house. It's a log cabin, you guys. <laughs> but anyways, they're uh, sitting on the couch and a spider appeared. And Victor jumped out of his shorts. And... <laughs> Ow! A fly bit me. That's why I can't go for a walk. Because the flies bite. <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah. So we found out Victor is scared of spiders in... Mora had to take care of the spider but they kissed they kissed and she just melted she melted and now she's like I said she's finding Courtney's in love with him so she's backing away from him I'm almost oh I don't know what's gonna happen now <laughs> yeah so tomorrow we'll go get eggs go to the P.O. box and just enjoy the day. Come and hang out with me again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I wanted to give a couple tips for, for, oh, maybe I'll do that in another video. Yeah, yeah, I was going to give a few tips on, like, conserving with our groceries being so expensive. What you can do to uh, make your meals go a little farther. Well, I'll just tell you now. The best thing to do is not is not um, meal plan. It's not that way anymore. What we need to do is take what we have in the home 
and create something with it. And also try to make that whatever we create go two days, two meals. Whether you just have leftovers or you take that meal from yesterday and recreate a new one with it. That's how we have to make our groceries go a little farther, you guys. It's getting scary. It really is. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of you are feeling it, too. If we stay together and come up with ideas, we can maybe help us out a little bit, each other out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to say good night again. Good night, everyone. We'll see you guys in the next one. I have to show you guys my broth. Look at that liquid gold. <laughs> it's 9.37 at night and I'm still working in the kitchen. Liquid gold. I thought, Bruce, I said, go get some lettuce. I need a salad for in the mor tomorrow for lunch. So I prepped up a salad too. Good night, everyone.